it's me stormy and it is time to talk about our full moon for the month of june which is going to be happening either june 27th or 28th just depending on where you are in the world but at six degrees of capricorn now remember this is a full moon and the full moon says that something needs to be ended acknowledged or adjusted so we've got some shift happening here not to mention this moon as you'll see on the chart as soon as i pull it up here is in conjunction with our task master planet of saturn and even though Saturn is retrograde, taking a little snooze. We still have some work to get done, right? But I think that at this moon, it's almost like you get to kind of whoosh, put something that you've been working your butt off on down and or you get very close to the completion of it. Now, there are a couple other aspects over the next couple weeks that because this is such a serious energy, Saturn is serious, Capricorn ruled by Saturn is serious, there are some energies that can be very pessimistic in here. Um, you maybe feel like you are just extra limited. Um, maybe you're feeling guilt or overwhelmed by the magnitude of doing or taking on something. And if you are watching your astrology paying attention, you've got a little bit of a heads up so you know that it's okay to move this the other direction. This moon is trying to help you bring something to close and or ushering it in all on its own here. So let's take a couple minutes to talk about what the full moon is just in case you're new to my channel or you've been studying for a while but you're like yes there's a full moon but what does that mean? So a full moon first of all in the positioning what happens is that the sun is opposite of the moon. So what this does is that it highlights the opposing forces within us, right? My wants versus my needs because they're on opposite sides of each other. So what I feel like I should be doing versus what I'm actually doing, right? So this is the thing, at this moon, we have opposition energy. You may be stuck, you may have this intuition to do something or you've had it for a while but you couldn't exactly see which direction you should go and the full moon happening here in this kind of opposition kind of gives you an overwhelming sense of which direction to go it shows you something it just puts this big old illuminating light on which direction is the best to go and in doing that it will create a shift or an adjustment an ending an acknowledgement or an adjustment so the full moon when we're talking about it remember we're going to culminate something but the full moon each month also happens and speaks to the new moon we had the month before. So this is a wonderful time. What did you start four weeks ago? What were you working on? What were you getting into? What were you trying to manifest, right? Four weeks ago, two weeks ago, we had the new moon at, um, in Gemini on the 13th. So what were you working on in that energy? What goals were you trying to achieve? Because we'll start to see some of the payoff or some of the shift happening right here as we get to this moon. Now, it's a really phenomenal energy to learn about this energy, but it's even better when you can grab your own chart and see exactly where this is hitting for you. So if you don't have your own chart, click down below or go someplace and pick up the chart so that you can grab it, get your degrees together and actually see where this is working for you. I know that this is showing up in a communication in my business and I've got a new set of projects to launch for you guys. So it's a very exciting time. But what does this look like in your chart? You won't know unless you grab your chart. And if you have your chart, let's start looking around, okay? So stay tuned for just a second here. I'm gonna flop over and pull up the chart so we can take a look at these aspects together. So as we can see here on the chart, we've got this full moon happening at six degrees, 28 minutes of Capricorn, and it is aligning just boom, boom, right on top of, right holding tight hands with Saturn, its ruling energy, which is beautiful for the sign, right? So where this is actually something I think we have to pay attention to is that while Saturn will work to try and ground us emotionally, right? Try to put us in a very mature position because it's the moon and it's such an emotional energy. This is where I think some of that pessimism could come in. And especially because this conjunction is so tight, you guys, they're right on top of each other. If you look here, we see this Saturn energy being at five degrees. The moon is just here at six. I mean, they are just together. Okay. Now, whenever the moon is in conjunction with Saturn as a whole, it does bring an air 
of limitedness or maturity to the table because your emotions don't get to get too out of hand, right? When Saturn's around, right? And he's like, no, I'm not up for all of this emotionalism. Let's deal with what's going on in these relationships. Let's deal with what's going on in this particular house, wherever it's falling for you. So you could find yourself arriving to some situations and you have a more serious, reserved, or mature attitude or aspect, or you're put in a position where you have to, you were challenged to take a more serious, mature position or attitude. And I'm telling you sometimes, growing up and dying off a part of us to start behaving as something different, it is not as easy as it sounds. And we all think we're mature out there until something pops off and we have to actually show up in a different way, right? So you are definitely going to show up in a way that asks you to move and shake and make some decisions from a much higher plane, a place that is so much more mature that you can actually achieve with it. Now, one of the other things I think of too is the influence of what these planets bring. Saturn wants achieving, it wants reputation, it wants authority, and the moon is very much the um, planet of our families, our roots, our cores. So, you know, for some of you, what may happen is that you're finding that this is bringing something up with your family. Maybe you're having to make decisions about a family member. Maybe somebody has something going on you're having to step in and take care of. Maybe something in your own home, you and your your, your partner or your roommate or whoever it is that you're living with are having to make some pretty mature, mature decisions around some things. Now, the moon is also very closely tied to women, so your relationships with women, you may be looking at them in a much more serious way um, much more mature way, okay? Now, the other part that we want to consider, because remember, when we're looking at this chart, I'm not just showing you these beautiful lines because they're awesome. We want to consider what the interactions are. And as you can see on this chart, I allowed all of the rest of the aspects to be up because that's the real way we read a chart, right? You, you don't just separate them. I mean, you can, but when I pull up a chart, I read the aspects that correspond to what I'm reading about. So with these ones, we see these conjunctions, we see these interactions just from the moon. And then we see the planets that are involved. So Saturn here is retrograde. Okay, so while Saturn is retrograde, first of all, delicious because we get a little bit of a break. Saturn has been putting the pressure on you. He's been saying, this is the area that needs to be adjusted. I need your attention here. I need you to bring this to the next level because we're trying to move on. We're trying to achieve, right? And so what's happening though, while he's retrograde and he's asleep, you get a little bit of a break, not in the actions that you have to take, but he's giving you space to take the actions. But in doing that, like I said, growing up is not always easy. There can be a lot of anxiety that comes with it, right? There's a lot of testing that comes with any anything to do with Saturn being in any position. One of the things that I think happens too though is maybe something from your past, even if it's a behavior or a belief or negative or just not serving patterns that you have had in your world. I really think it has a lot more to do with behaviors than patterns. If they're showing up and you're living them, using them, Saturn's going to say, absolutely not. You will be uncomfortable from the inside out. But what the moon does with all of that illumination is give you an opportunity to see it, be uncomfortable and thus see it, and then be prepared to go out and make some different decisions. If you don't know what the heck to do next, you get a mentor. And where does this become good? Let's look at this next aspect we've got going over here. We've got this moon and its conjunction in a trine. A trine is a beautiful pocket of energy you can use to Uranus. Now, this is that because it's a softer aspect. This is not like the most life shattering aspect ever, but I think it's important at this moon because if you want to change, you need to change. You're being challenged. You need an energy like Uranus that comes to break you out of your shell, break you out of your routines. This is a break free, breakthrough kind of energy, and it's in response to everything that this Saturn and moon energy are showing you is not working, right? And Uranus not only breaks this down, but it brings you some intuitive new ideas of how to handle that. It may bring you some teachers that you never expected. And because Uranus is such a social energy, maybe this is you're learning something. You're taking a class, you're getting online, you're watching a tutorial, whatever it is. Um, it's this blend of 
taking these old things that aren't working, putting them together with brand new information you've got and switching some things up. And I'm telling you, wherever this happens in your chart, for some of you, it will be you are breaking free of some unhealthy relationships. For some of you, you are breaking free of an addiction. For some of you, you're finishing a school or a work project. Whatever it is, there is going to be this place where you find that it cannot be this way anymore and you have to break free. And so thus some culmination becomes possible. So I feel like this is going to be a phenomenal moon. I hope this chart has been really helpful for you to see what we're talking about, what we're looking at as well, because when you really are pulling this up, you're gonna analyze the chart by looking at what is making aspect to the placement that you're talking about. All of these other ones are beautiful influences that are happening at the time, but the ones we wanna pay attention to are the ones directly related to the moon. So definitely I did it this way this month to bring up some practice for you. So I hope that this helps for sure. And I will definitely be doing a live chat this month, breaking down the um, full moon in Capricorn for individual signs. So I'll keep you posted on that scheduled live chat as well okay all right you guys like this video comment share subscribe if it's time for a reading a chart or chart or anything else that i can help you with just let me know or come visit me at stormygrace.com i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video okay bye